here now with more Fox News contributor Charlie Hurt, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, and the host of OutKicks, Tommy Laren is fearless, Tommy Laren. All right, welcome to all of you. You know, I'll start with you, Governor. You know, it's bad news all over. Those uh, polls that I read indicate that Joe Biden is in big trouble. What say you? Well, Judge, I say that's not bad news. That's great news. <laughs> I think we're going to see Donald Trump get reelected. That's wonderful news. And uh, the bad news is, is that the best thing that people can say about Joe Biden is that he's done nothing. The reason they're keeping him hidden and he's not going out is because those are the best days of his presidency, when nobody hears him blunder through a speech, when he doesn't fall off the stage or down the steps, and when he doesn't uh, mispronounce the names of victims of crime. So it probably makes sense to lock him up and throw the key away and just pray and hope that somewhere along the way they can get enough mail-in votes uh, to, to take him to the finish line. But I, I just think Americans are smarter than that. And I really want to believe that this election is no longer about Democrats and Republicans. It's about whether this country is going to be a country of law, order, safety, controlling the border, economic reality, or if we're going to live in la-la land for the next four years. And that la-la land would be very dangerous, Tommy Lahren. You know, what's interesting is, as the Democrats raise money, they talk about how wonderful it is and how it's a reflection of how people love Joe Biden. And yet, they don't really admit that they're doing everything they can to take away Donald Trump's money uh, in every which way. Yeah, I think today, and you talked about it uh, beautifully earlier, about the contrast between Joe Biden's day and former President Donald Trump's day. Now, mm -hmm. let's keep in mind that Donald Trump has had to spend a lot of the time that he could be out on the campaign trail sitting in court, battling these political prosecutions and persecutions. But even though he's had to spend a lot of time doing that, and he could be out raising money in the few hours that he has in between legal battles, instead, he chose to show up for a fallen NYPD officer. This man is a billionaire, but he acts more like an average American than Obama, than Biden, than Clinton, who spent the night rubbing elbows with celebrities and taking photos. I mean, I don't know how tone deaf you have to be to spend your day doing that, especially in this city. When I just came in, Judge, and I saw NYPD officers having to block off streets, standing in the rain for these three clowns to be in town. And meanwhile, Donald Trump is standing shoulder to shoulder with the NYPD because he actually cares about law enforcement officers. Americans, that is your choice come November. Somebody who cares about the people and somebody who cares about the elites. Make your pick. You know, Charlie, that's why I love Tommy. She talks about the clowns. I call them the Three Stooges. Uh, Bubba, Barry, and Clueless Joe. Uh, you know, the truth is that, that uh, Clueless Joe has made a decision to do local news and local print media instead of national. Now, Charlie, why would he do that? Well, you know, if Joe Biden has lost the national media, then uh, he's lost the only thing that got him in the White House in the first place. Uh, he's in deep trouble if he can't, uh, he can no longer rely on the national, or he, his campaign feels like they can't rely on the national media to carry uh, his water for him. Of course, uh, they can, but the problem is, uh, as the governor pointed out, you know, every day he opens his mouth is so bad for them, it's so bad for the campaign that even the New York Times, even the Washington Post has a hard time sort of covering up at this point for all of his, uh, all, all, uh, everything that, that he, he screws up. Uh, but, but I think that the, the real issue here is actually way more serious than all that. You know, the problem for them is that all of these things that are, are causing real uh, personal pain in people's lives, whether yeah. it's the open border or crime or the economy, inflation, all of these things can be tied directly to the policies of, this, of the Biden administration and the Democrat Party that Joe Biden is the head of. And you can draw a direct line to it, even down to the case of uh, Officer Diller being murdered on the street. This is, right. These are policies you can tie directly to these people. And I do pray 
that that uh, that I, I do think that most people see through it all, and I pray that that the, the election that we're heading into, and that Republicans uh, take this very seriously, that mm -hmm. we get a hold of this because yeah. it, you know the the, the mass mail-in ballots is not the way to go. Well, yeah, and many countries have outlawed them. But very quickly, uh, G Governor Huckabee, you know, the fact that immigration, uh, he's rating so poorly as it relates to that, uh, it indicates that every state is recognizing now that, that immigration is a problem. Well, everybody sees it. It's not just a border issue for the border right. states. Every state has a fentanyl problem. Every state has an issue with people coming. And people look at the crime and they say, this is nuts. Uh, this is where Donald Trump has a distinct advantage. Okay, Charlie, Mike, Tommy, thanks so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.